Good evening, and welcome to St. Mary of Vernon. The presider for our Mass is our pastor, Father Ignatius. The deacon is Bill Pagnotta. Our entrance song is in the Gather Hymnal, number 850. All are welcome. That's Gather 850. Please stand and join in singing our entrance song. <coughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. With you, sir. My brothers and sisters, as we come in thanksgiving before the Lord in this Eucharist, to thank God for God's many gifts and blessings to each of us. Let us pause for a moment that the Lord may make us worthy to enter into this Paschal mystery. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We pray. Thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, 
Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. to people of good will. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> o oh God, who have prepared for those who love you, good things which no eye can see. Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord, and becoming his servants. All who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar, or my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord. For this evening's responsorial psalm, 
These are the words of the response. O God, let all the nations praise you. All the nations praise you. praise you all the nations praise you oh god let all the nations praise you all the nations praise you may god have pity on us and bless us may he let his face shine upon us so may your way be known upon earth among all nations your salvation oh god let all the nations praise you all the nations praise you oh god let all the nations praise you all the nations praise you May the nations be glad and exult Because you rule the peoples in equity The nations on the earth you guide Oh God, let all the nations praise you All the nations praise you Oh God, let all the nations praise you the peoples praise you oh god may all the peoples praise you may god bless us and may all the ends of the earth fear him oh god let all the nations praise you all the nations praise you Oh God, let all the nations praise you, all the nations praise you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle to the Gentiles. I glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them for if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world what will their acceptance be but life from the dead for the gifts and the call of god are irrevocable just as you once disobeyed God, but now have received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now disobeyed in order that, by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too now may receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience that he might have mercy upon all the word of the lord thanks be to god
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word in answer to her. Jesus' disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. And he said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did Jesus homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. And she said, Please, Lord. For even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their enemies and masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that moment on. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I know you've seen Father's picture around the church and in the narthex. Well, Father is here in person for our parish mission. So what about it's a Mary of Vernon. Won't welcome Father Jim Shisko. Good evening, church. You do speak, I hope. Good evening. Yeah, as Father shared, my name is Father Jim. I'm 56 years old, uh, the youngest of five children, first time ever in Indian Creek. But uh, before I became a priest, I was a performing artist. I did my undergraduate work at New England Conservatory of Music in the Juilliard School, was on Broadway for a while. I remember visiting Ravinia and singing there, and so how wonderful it is to be back in this area. Eight years ago, while I was a pastor of a parish, a very large parish, my life took a really dramatic, unexpected turn eight years ago. I was sitting at my desk, minding my own business, when my secretary came running in, staring at me like you, and I kind of said, what, what's going on? And she said, Father Jim, pick up the phone. And I said, why? She said, because you have a phone call. And I'm like, well, duh, who is it? And she said, Father Jim, Pope Francis is on the phone. <laughs> right, sure he is. It was Pope Francis. <laughs> I know because I hung up and he called back. Pope Francis had informed me that he had named me one of 100 priests in the United States, one of 700 priests in the world to be his personal papal missionary. He flew all 700 of us to Rome and we gathered in a beautiful church in Rome and unbeknownst to four of the 700 priests, 
four priests would be selected at random to live with Pope Francis. What you all may not know is Pope Francis does not live like the other popes in that big apostolic palace. Pope Francis is the first pope to have chosen to live across Vatican City in a 300-room dormitory called the Domus Santa Martha, the house of St. Martha. And uh, I, I remember it well because I was seated right over here in the midst of those 700 priests, and they pulled out four names, and the first name they pulled out, they said, from the United States of America, Father Jim Sitchko. Oh my gosh, right over there, I just jumped up. I did, I just jumped up and I screamed, I won, I won, it's me, it's me, I won. <laughs> and all of the other 699 priests look like some of you. But I was ecstatic. I was thrilled to death. And I'm going to be honest with you, the main reason I was so psyched was that if you follow me on social media, like on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, one of the things that I am kind of addicted to is I love taking selfies. Do you know what a selfie is, yes or no? Hello? Do, do you people? Hello? And, and I am like, in my mind, I am like, how many people in the world can say they have a selfie with a Pope? Many people have pictures. Very few have selfies. And so the four of us went to the Domus. We moved in, and the first thing they had us do was sign paperwork. So I'm signing the paperwork. I don't even know what I'm signing. It's in Latin. I don't even read Latin. And I said, excuse me, what am I signing? And they said, you are signing that you can take no pictures while you live in this house. I was devastated. Three days later, four in the morning, I'm walking on the second floor to go downstairs to catch a cab to go to Rome Fumicino Airport to begin the mission. And who is walking at four in the morning in the opposite direction on the second floor but Pope Francis? And would you not know, he and I met at the elevator and he looked at me and said to me, United States. And I'm like, that's me, how did you know? How did you know? And then he said to me in Italian, he said to me, Dove, where are you going this early in the morning? And I said, Pope Francis, I'm going out to preach. I'm going out to be your missionary. And my brothers and sisters up, is it Indian Creek, Illinois, Indian Creek? Or Indian Village? I said, he grabbed me. And he said, looking straight through me, he said, pray for me. And I'm just like mesmerized. And he said it again. He said, pray for me. And then people of St. Mary of Vernon, the Holy Father did something eight years ago that I will never, ever, ever forget. He took off that white little beanie he wears. It's called a zucchetta. Have you ever seen him wear it, yes or no? Yeah. He took that zucchetta off his head and he gave it to me. And he said, listen how prophetic, eight years ago. He said, take this wherever you go and you remind all people that God is with them. That God will never abandon them. And that God's mercy is always theirs. 
And then he pushed the down button to the elevator. And he and I, just the two of us, got in the elevator and he pushed the down button, the doors closed. And as the elevator started going down, um, I kind of started looking up for any security cameras. And I said, Pope Francis. And he said, yes. I said, um, can I have a selfie? Yeah, there we are, the two of us at 4.30. He's the one in white, I'm the one, yeah. At 4.30 in the morning, yes. And then, hold on, just three weeks ago, hold on, three weeks ago, we took selfie number 56. Yeah, so that's all he and I do now when we get together is we take selfies together. And then I came back to the United States and my bishop called me in. And my bishop said to me, Father, how would you like to travel the world as a full-time evangelist for the Catholic Church and a full-time papal missionary for Pope Francis. And I said, I'll do it. With one exception, that I take no salary, which I haven't done in eight years, no insurance, no food allowance. I have one suitcase. I have my tunic, my shorts, and my sandals. And I go town to town, state to state, nation to nation, preaching the good news of Jesus Christ and relying solely on the goodness of the people I am called to serve. And no people of Chicago, I'm not taking up a collection today. I can already see the hair rising. And that's what I do. Yesterday, I was in Louisville, Kentucky. Before that, I was in Nevada. Before that, I was in Maspate in the Philippines. Como esta pare mabute, salamapo. Thursday, I will be in uh, Indiana. Then I will head to Nevada. From Nevada, I'll then go to Pittsburgh. From Pittsburgh, I'll go to Karachi, Pakistan. From Karachi, Pakistan, I'll then head, hopefully, to help our brothers and sisters in Maui, Hawaii. Town to town state to state, nation to nation, 300 days a year. And so why am I here today? Because beginning Monday night, for 60 minutes only, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, from 7 to 8 p.m., a different talk each night, I'm gonna be preaching in this church, a parish mission, and let me tell you something, people of God, don't you leave me in this big church by myself. No, I'm serious. Oh, well, Father, um, we didn't know about the mission. You do now. Oh, well, Father, I'm sure it's going to be live streamed. Absolutely not. Oh, well, Father, uh, we have children. Good. Bring your children to church. Oh, well, Father, um, uh, we have a meeting. Cancel the meeting. Oh, well, Father, I'm sorry, but we eat at 7 o'clock. Good, eat at 6 o'clock and I'll join you. Uh -huh. oh, oh, well, Father, I'm elderly and I don't drive at night. Good, Father Ignatius will pick you up, okay? <laughs> yeah, he has an associate. What am I saying? Stop the excuses, get yourself to church. It's 60 minutes, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. 60 minutes for the man who hung on a cross, who died for you and for me. God gives us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days or four days a year, and you're telling me that you can't give back 60 minutes for three nights, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 7 to 8 p.m. My brothers and sisters, 
I will make you a 100% guarantee. You get yourself to this church Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 7 to 8. You resist the temptation to stay away. And you make the effort for God. I will guarantee you this 100% that God will bless you, your family, and this church 100,000 times over. And how can I make that guarantee? Because I traveled the world and I see it. How can I make that guarantee? Because I live it. How can I make that guarantee? Because I have faith in the real presence of Jesus Christ in the Eucharist. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 7 to 8 p.m., 60 minutes for Jesus. A different talk each night. I look forward to seeing you after Mass. Don't be coming out those doors after communion, because I'll bring you right back into the church. And if you don't believe me, just watch. And why? Because my brothers and sisters, you're receiving Jesus, the real presence. And you're telling me you can't make the time? Recognize what you're receiving and be blessed. May God's blessings be with you. See you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 7 to 8 p.m. God's blessings. Please stand. Let us now together profess our faith in our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invincible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, one of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men of our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord answers all who seek him. Trusted in the Father's love, let us submit our prayers to him. Our response is, Lord, accept our prayer for the church, that its clergy and people will faithfully witness God's love for all people, we pray. Lord, accept our prayer. For all our parish activities this week, especially the parish's evening mission talks, that through them we will grow in grace, we pray. Lord, accept our prayer. For all public and civic officers, that their work secure justice and serve the equal dignity for all human beings, we pray. Lord, accept our prayer. For all who are suffering physical, emotional, or spiritual distress, we pray. Lord, accept our prayer. For the dead and with the Mass's special intentions, for the souls of Mary Sue Didier, and for all who mourn their passing, we pray. Lord, accept our prayer. For our personal intentions, for whom 
we have promised to pray and for intentions recorded in our bulletin and our parish book of prayers and those we hold in our hearts. We pray. Lord, accept our prayer. Loving God, open our eyes and ears, our hearts and minds to the gifts you have prepared for us. Help us to know and follow you more willingly. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The song during the presentation of gifts is in the Gather Hymnal, number 832. In Christ, there is no east or west. That's Gather 832. Please join in singing. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine may be acceptable to the Lord, the God Almighty. May the Lord the Amen. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to the right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord his death we celebrate in love his resurrection we confess with living faith and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving you thanks he broke it gave the bread to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, 
who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all unnecessary and useless anxieties as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles I give you peace my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Christ be always with you. Christmas. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. A sign of peace. Lord Jesus, we know you are truly present in this Eucharist. We thank you for your many gifts and blessings to each of us. We ask you to teach us how to pray, increase our faith, keep us focused on the mission you have called us. And Lord, please do not let us depart from you. Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Heart of Christ. Blood of Christ. song is in the gathered hymnal, number 939, Behold the Lamb. That's gathered 939. Please join in singing.
announcements for August 19th and 20th. The Knights of Columbus Blood Drive is Sunday, March 20th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the Paris Center. Don't miss our parish mission, as you so heard it eloquently put. Um, 7 p.m. To, to 8 p.m. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Interested in becoming a Catholic? RCA classes begin in September. Please contact Father Shemek. The prep office is still looking for a sixth grade teacher for the Sunday morning session. Contact Mary in the prep office. Youth ministry is having a mum sale. Order forms are in the bulletin. Orders are due by August 28th. Next week, August 26th and 27th, the teens will be available after all masses to take forms and payments in person. The teen choir and children's choir will be starting up very soon. The teen choir will begin on Sunday, March, August, August 27th at 2 p.m. in the music room. And the children's choir will begin on Tuesday, August 29th at 6.30 p.m. in the music room. We are always looking for more singers and musicians to join us. Choir registration seats will be available at the first practice. If you have any questions, please see the bulletin or contact Mark Schmitz. We ask you to please take a copy of the bulletin home. Please do read it to be informed of the activities happening here at St. Mary of Vernon. And I look forward to seeing you at our parish mission uh, Monday, 7 p.m., Tuesday, 7 p.m., and on Wednesday at 7 p.m. And if you do not have a ride to get here, just call me and I'll tell Father Shimek to come and pick you up. <laughs> And let us pray. <laughs> Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co heirs in heaven who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and live the gospel with your lives. Thanks be to God. Our closing song is in the Gather Hymnal, number 818. If you believe and I believe, that's 818. Please join in singing. Thank you. 